I'm here with some Blackburn fans before the game. Um, you came up last season. Are you happy with the progress that's been made? Yeah, overall, we're very happy, yeah. yeah. Obviously, the last few games have been disappointing, but before that, we, we, you know, we've done well. Yeah, yeah mid-table side, but we, we've let it slip in the last sort of 10, 11 games, basically. The last time Forrest played Blackburn was at the start of the season 2-2. Two, two. I spoke with some fans there. They were impressed with Tony Mowbray. Have you still got the same view on him now? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I've, me personally, I've got a few mates who are Forest fans and uh, they'll, they'll, they said they were quite lucky to come away with a point. Um, yeah, it's like I said, it's progress. Into, out of the three teams that have come up, we're still like top of them three, so that's the main thing. And how do you think you're going to do against Forest today then? Well, obviously, we're coming off the back of a win. It was important to beat Derby. Uh, I think that's going to give everybody. Thank you. <laughs> that's going to give everybody a lot of confidence. And I think Forest have had a couple of a couple of three bad results. Uh, so today we, we, we'll we'll be happy with the draw. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much and enjoy the game. Thanks very much. We need a win today. What's your score prediction? Two 0 Two 0 Forest. Yours? Yeah, I'm going for two 0 as well. Come on, you Reds. You Reds. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting towards the end of the season now. What are your thoughts on this season then? Well, my thoughts are slight disappointment, although if you'd have perhaps said at the beginning of the season, after the three or four seasons we've had worrying about relegation, you would be up to five games to go in the chance of playoffs and you'd probably be in the top 12. You'd have said that would be really good. But I think because we've had this guy come in and we've had all the positivity of things going right off the pitch, bills being paid, um, in the community, Nottingham Forest got a really good name now, and I think because we had all that and now this fantastic development, it's just made it that little bit disappointing. Um, and just fingers crossed that we can go on and do something next year. Hopefully, finish on a high for the well, end of the be season. Nice, it'd be nice if we could, yeah. How do you think the, we'll do today then against Blackburn? Well, I think if we can force a draw, we're going to do well because at the present time, the way we're playing football, it's not the way I like to see us play. I like to see pure football on the floor, into the man, people working off the ball and coming forward as a unit. But at the moment, I'm afraid it's, I wouldn't say schoolboy football, but it's up in the air, long ball, and it's not my style at all. It's your first game. Are you looking forward to it? And what do you think the Forest score will be? 2-0? Two, <laughs> 2 nil. Two nil. Two nil. Yeah. I'll take big, that. Big win today. Um, how do you think we're going to do for the rest of the season? We've got to finish on a high a bit. Yeah, O'Neill said in the um, last interview that he was going to mix it up a bit, so looking forward to seeing what formation he plays, really. What's your story um, behind supporting Forest then? Well, my dad first brought us to uh, watch Nottingham Forest play when uh, the floodlights weren't allowed to be used in the early 70s and we came on a Sunday morning because he always worked on Saturdays and we were hooked. So we've had season tickets in the city ground uh, from 1974 pretty much and there are now five of us who come. So we're all very invested in the Forest story. Um, do you think we can win today? Got to remain positive? Uh, that's my view. We have to back Martin O'Neill 100%. We have. To, I remember when he was a young player, of course, so we, we absolutely have to back him. We have to give them our full vocal support when things start to go a little bit wrong. And I am confident we can get three points today. Come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds. Time here at the City Ground, finished Forest 1, Blackburn 2. I'm cold and I'm fed up. Very disappointing. Um, I thought in the second half we were unlucky not to, to equalise, but it just sums things up at the moment. Um, I thought Bradley Dack was again excellent for Blackburn. He was excellent in the earlier fixture where it finished 2-2. He was really their star man. Um, where do we go from here? Who knows? Um, experimenting for the next few games and to the end of the season because we haven't got any hope of uh, going in the playoffs now. Pr pretty much puts the playoff chances to bed. But if you have enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Match 2 with Max. Come on you Reds. What did you make of the game then? <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, oh, I, love the I love the club, yeah, but I don't know what to think. That's three losses on the bounce now and like it's just shocking me honestly I, you know from from the start of the season how positive we was looking and how good we was looking football wise yeah. to looking how we were two seasons ago and last season it's just over and over again and I'm sick and tired of hearing you know next year is going to be a better year than the last and to be fair this year you know we've done we have done better but yeah. it's not to say that we're not in relegation battle but it's another season in the championship do you know what I like the championship it's all right but <laughs> It, it's always it's always nice to you know fight for playoffs. You know what I mean? We haven't done that in years. Um, 
But I don't know managerial or anything. I don't know what to think of it. But I just think we should see the season out and go on to next season. That's all. That's all I can say. Okay. Really. All I mean, right. Thanks very much, cheers, mate. mate. Well, at least they won't hoof ball today, was it? No. No, they did try to play football, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm it, not too it, sure about it, them to be truthful. Um, it basically puts the playoff hopes to bed. Well, now. that's finished all together, isn't yeah. it? I think now what he's going to do is just uh, experiment, isn't it? Just try different players, see who they're going to keep and who's got to go.